Hi, my name is Sandra Wheatley, and I'm SVP of Influencer Communications, Threat Intelligence, and Customer Marketing at Fortinet. Today, um, I have my colleague, Rob Rashoth, who's VP of Global Training and Technical Field Enablement. And we're here to talk about some of the recent trends with our NSC training program and some of the momentum we're seeing. So thanks for joining us, Rob. Um, I thought we might kick it off uh, with a reference to a recent study Fortinet conducted. Um, and one of the things that we heard from uh, CISOs and other cybersecurity leaders is that almost 68% of them are moderately or significantly concerned about insider attacks. And we know from a recent Poneman study that about 60% of attacks are a result of careless mistakes from employees. So in addition to having the right security architecture in place, um, companies need to be educating their employees about uh, cyber security awareness and training. So Rob, I thought maybe you could tell us about the new service that Fortinet just rolled out to address this issue. Sure, it's great great to be talking to you again, Sandra. So yeah, we, we launched a new program actually on September 30th. And this was really a, a reaction from the, the volumes of registrations that we saw from our, our free training campaign that we launched earlier in the year. Uh, and in fact, since we launched that free training program, we saw over 600,000 registrations for the, the free training. And we started to look at that and realize that uh, there really was a need for an awareness and train, a training and awareness program that, that went beyond just the, the training that we were offering. So we really developed uh, you know, more of a full blown program. Uh, that was really, really aimed at, at two different audiences, uh, you know, companies that were looking to launch a program or implement a program to, to just improve the overall, um, you, you know, the overall security posture of, of their entire employee base uh, and uh, give them a way to do that with, 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 with no barriers, no cost associated with it. Uh, and then the other group we were looking at were um, organizations that really had to deploy such a program for compliance reasons. Maybe there's uh, governmental regulations or there's just requirements from customers and vendors of theirs where they 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 need to show the due diligence. So that's really um, you know what the program's uh, been designed to do. And I think within training, we often tend to focus our training on you know, IT professionals and security professionals, but really, as, as we all know, cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility. So th this program is designed to make sure that we're, we're giving all employees the training, the awareness and tools to be able to protect corporate resources across the board. 600,000 registrations, that's a remarkable number in such a short space of time. Can you tell me a little bit more about um, how this new InfoSec training was designed and what it actually consists of? Sure, yeah. So with the free training campaign, because we had such a volume of registrations, we were able to take a look at the data and find out you know, what, what's the training that was most sought after. And certainly the training uh, programs that are around awareness and, and employee education uh, were a very, very big percentage of that. So we started to look at uh, how we could add more value to that than just the training courses themselves. And then we, we decided that, you know, there's, there's guidelines for this that, that have been um, developed by NIST. And uh, you know there, there are very specific guidelines to how to build and deploy a cybersecurity awareness and training program. So that really became the blueprint for the program. And we thought, if we're going to build out a program like this, uh, you know, let's use that as the guidelines. Let's use that as the basis because you know certainly that's what what everyone else is going to be doing. So let's let's do something that that allows people to uh, to to become compliant with those guidelines. And that really became, as I say, the, the baseline of that. So, you know, the, the training consists of three main components. There's obviously the training components. We have training on five critical areas that are um, you know, important for every employee to understand. We have additional uh, training components 
geared to uh, senior executives. Uh, and for example, why does a CFO need to be concerned about cybersecurity? So we have modules geared to those uh, types of roles as well. Uh, but then we go beyond the training and we provide a library of awareness assets, uh, posters, job aids, screensavers, best practices videos, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then a set of management tools. So the management tools are things like getting started guides. So a company uh, has uh, deployment guides on, on how, to, how to stage and release a program like this across their organization. And then we give them dashboards so that they can report on it and show the, uh, the um, improvement. They can show the numbers of employees that have received training, completed training and so on. Uh, and so this all comes together as, as the package that we're delivering as phase one. And we'll continue to work with customers uh, that deploy this to see what would add additional value. And we'll continue to build out the program into 2021 and, and years after that, it'll be an ongoing uh, development. That's fantastic, Rob. And I've, we've had great feedback already from many of our customers and partners uh, around how valuable this is. But looking at the NSC training program even more broadly, one of the other benefits I understand is that a lot of the training courses count towards ISC credits for the um, well-known CISSP certification. Can you go tell us a little bit more about that aspect of it? Yeah, so you know, like like many certifying bodies, ISC squared uh, requires that their certification holders uh, obtain uh, professional uh, education credits on, on an annual basis. And uh, CISSPs being an example of that, we have a lot of NSEs, particularly at the higher levels, NSE7s, NSE8s, who are also CISSPs. And so they need to maintain those credits or they need to obtain those credits on an annual basis. So we have now an agreement with ISC Squared where um, the majority of our NSE training courses can be used as credits uh, on an hour by hour basis. So if we look at CISSPs as an example, uh, they have to obtain 40 credits uh, in a year. So if you take our NSE4 training as an example, uh, that's 40 hours worth of training. So if someone uh, decides to pursue our NSE4 certification and they're a CISSP, well, they've met their requirements for the year. Uh, and then what we've also done is because we have a lot of people who are already certified at the higher levels, NSE7, NSE8, we also have agreement with ISC Squared where a lot of our other training, um, if someone comes to one of our expert summits, for example, who's maybe already an NSC7 or an NSC8, those expert summits will count as credit hours as well. So it's really a, it's really a way for us to uh, let our NSEs uh, and, and other folks who are starting to pursue NSC uh, really leverage their investment in our training and use it with uh, ISC Squared as well. Speaking of certifications, I think what's really exciting is mm. that you recently, you and the team reached a huge milestone of half a million certifications. Yeah, yeah. Um, and particularly a, a big percentage of those has been through during COVID. Can you talk a little bit more about that and, and why you think we've seen such an uptick um, and such value in certifications? Yeah, so you're right. We 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 exceeded the the half a million number, and and what's an interesting stat is you know the the growth in those numbers is exponential. You know, it took us uh, a number of years to reach a hundred thousand, and then it's just been increasing more and more. So you know, it, it took us about three years to hit that one hundred thousand. We've we've issued uh, of that five hundred thousand. We've issued about 45% of those just this year. Wow. So the growth has just been phenomenal this year. And I think, you know, a lot of people, or you ask about, you know, why is that? I, I think a lot of people have had, um, you know, the, the time to invest more in training, uh, you know, with the situation we have. But a lot of organizations as well are clearly taking uh, cybersecurity training a lot more seriously. Uh, we're seeing, uh, you know, things like providing free training and eliminating all the barriers we possibly can so that people can achieve certifications. Uh, you know, we're, we're really seeing those results 
uh, come through in the certification numbers. And it's global. I mean, those those half a million certifications, I think at last count, it was we had uh, NSEs in over 240 different countries around the globe. So it's it's really uh, it, it really truly is becoming uh, a program that's pervasive within the cybersecurity industry. Fantastic stuff. Thanks, Rob, for sharing the latest about Fornet's NSE Training Institute. And also, congratulations. We just heard that the training program has won the uh, Breakthrough Award uh, for a certification program. I think this is the yeah. second time in a row, Rob, is that right? Yeah, it's, that's correct. So this is the second year in a row. And we're just, we just love to see a third party validation of the program. It, uh, it really shows that uh, the efforts are, are paying off and being, being seen. Well, thanks again, Rob. And I would encourage everyone to check out Fortinet's free training for organizations, IT professionals, job seekers, students, and veterans, and more. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thanks, Rob.